So as many of you guys know, yesterday on Thursday, we saw that four of the Packers wide receivers were not practicing, which is a little concerning considering some of them were limited on Wednesday, both Sammy Watkins and Christian Watson with new hamstring injuries. We have Alan Lazard with his ankle injury and then Randall Cobb currently dealing with, dealing with an illness. And so now on Friday, last day of practice for the Packers, we don't have the injury report out yet that will come out later today. And I'll probably make a video on that. So make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications on so you don't miss that one. But Matt LaFleur did just have a press conference in which he discussed these four wide receivers and sort of what the plan is coming into Sunday and what he sort of is expecting um, on the injury uh, aspect there. So here we have an article from Packers Wire breaking down some things Matt LaFleur said in this press conference that happened not too long ago. And they say here, Packers in wait and see mode on top four wide receivers for Sunday versus Bucks. The Green Bay Packers are expecting wide receivers Al Lazard, Randall Cobb, Sammy Watkins, Christian Watson to be game time decisions come Sunday against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Coach Matt LaFleur said the team will give the four pass catchers up to game time to prove they can play. We'll see, LaFleur said Friday. We'll know by game time. 90 minutes before kickoff, we'll know. So that's not the best news. The fact that all of these guys, LaFleur said, we will be waiting to see on Sunday if they're going to be playing or not. It would be nice to say if he was saying, you know, okay, two of these guys look like they should be good to go. Two of them will be game time decisions. But it looks like all four are going to be game time decisions come Sunday. So this is interesting already because when you look at the Buccaneers, without Mike Evans, um, Chris Goblin and Julio Jones also could not be playing with their injuries. So we may have a game here on Sunday where both of these teams are without three of their top weapons. It's possible. Who knows? Maybe on Sunday we get lucky and all receivers play. Maybe Lazard can play. Maybe Cobb, depending on his illness. And, and then Watkins and Watson will play. We just don't know at this point. It's sort of just questionable as to what's going to happen here. And then they say down here, it's unclear if any of the four will participate during Friday's practice, the last before flying out of Tampa Bay. LaFleur said it's less about participation on Friday and more about where they're at on Sunday in terms of availability for the game. So even if, de depending on what happens today with this practice and sort of if they're playing or not, LaFleur said it doesn't necessarily matter. It's more so how they're feeling on Sunday. So even if they are, you know, feeling bad today, maybe come Sunday they'll feel better. We just don't know. There's just lots of uncertainty, which typically happens with these injuries. But if we're missing Watson, Watkins, Lazard, Cobb, which hopefully not. I bet some of them will play, but you never know. We'll need guys like Amari Rodgers, Samori Torre, um, Romeo Dobbs to step up. Um, and we have a quote here about Dobbs. Let me find it. So he says, we have a lot of confidence in him, LaFleur said. He's going to have to make a to, to take more of a load this week. So Romeo Dobbs, of course, will get more action if any of these guys are out. Because so we saw last week, he, got, he had uh, some playing time, but not a ton compared to guys like Watkins and Lazard. But if any of those guys are missing, clearly Dobbs will get some more playing time. As we saw week one, he got a lot more snaps in week two with Lazard missing week one, but then coming back into week two. And then we do also have, as he says down here, Juwan Winfrey and Travis Fulgham on the practice squad. So if some of these guys are out, I would expect them to get elevated to the practice or to the roster on game day. So we'll see there. Um, but lots of uncertainty here with wide receivers for this Bucks Packers game. But stay tuned for the injury report video out later today. Maybe we'll get some more information on what could happen, who knows. But that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.